the president could be uh, applying tactics or strategies to retain power, it's very obvious that the governance institutions have been used throughout this particular term by the state, what you know they call deep state, which is a criminal enterprise group there that wants to retain power but they get the support and backing of the president because in this country executive power uh, is, is retained uh, heavily by the president. The other institutions support the executive and therefore when you see police brutality, when you see abductions like the one uh, that uh, Dennis Itumbi suffered, when you see police disrupting peaceful demonstrations or uh, evicting people at night regardless of the weather or whether they have an alternative place to stay, when you see political parties, some selective political application of uh, police authority uh, in, in terms of uh, disruption of political activities, different political parties are given different treatment. When you see some members of parliament being thrown out of, the, of their committees using the uh, executive, all that is uh, a sign that this particular executive wants to control state power now and after the elections. And of course, you have seen the same state power being used to support some candidates. And uh, without avoidance of doubt, it is, uh, has been demonstrated that the right honorable Braira Odinga, who saw himself as a president after the last general elections, is now being protected has never been prosecuted, seem to share a very cordial relationship with the president, who obviously, in my view, suffered a kind of a coup from Raira Odinga, but